Hello everyone and welcome to this uh, exciting workshop on uh, cleansing your space. So uh, I will give you, you know, a few tips and of course there is much more on what I'm going to see and you can, you know, easily find out there are a lot of books and um, uh, that will help you and even a lot of free resources on YouTube. So if you want to dig more on this um there is a way to do it uh, even without uh, spending a fortune okay now uh the thing is why you should clean your space so for your space i mean the home where you live the room or whatever you you know mm, spend your time you sleep you eat and so on you will wonder, okay, but um, I keep my space tidy, clean, uh, so you are fine. Reality is uh, that even if uh, we clean, okay, regularly, our uh, homes, that doesn't mean the energy around uh, uh, our home is clean. I, uh, every person and every object in this planet as is on energy and uh, people and objects have their own vibration so how uh, many times for instance let's say um you started your day with the wrong food as uh, you know the proverb says so and uh, everything that seems to go south so to speak okay for instance your car won't start and that will put you in a bad mood uh, so you run to catch the bus, the bus is late and then it's delayed because there are works on the road. In the meantime, you become more and more frustrated. And finally, you are at work and you are late and maybe you grab a cup of coffee and you spill it on your jacket and then your boss asks you to work overtime and so on. So. At the end of the day, when you finally go back home, you are actually exhausted, depressed, and in a bad mood. And it's the kind of, you know, vibration that we have when we feel exhausted, um, physically and mentally. That because we are vibrating out of balance, okay? So the opposite example can be uh, you wake up just fine uh, on your way on your bus, uh, you find, uh, I don't know, 20 euro on the ground <laughs> and that makes you happy, you know, just put you, you know, like um, in much more good vibes. So you arrive at uh, work and uh, I don't know, maybe your boss uh, compensated you for the, you know, overtime you did, giving you, okay, like, uh, let's take a half day off, okay? Um, a friend out of the blue invites you uh, for a drink or for a dinner, and uh, surely at the end of the day, you feel satisfied, happy, and over the moon. So you can feel even, you know, relating to your personal example, how um, there is a difference of vibrations, uh, which comes obviously for an emotional um, state of mind. And uh, this can really do, you know, a lot of difference in, a, you know, even in a short span of time, you know. So um, the way you feel, every in every moment has been proved to attract the same energy of what you feel so um, um, yes Soraya uh, so I the same energy of what you feel so uh, if you really feel bad and uh, nothing will rise your vibes and to the contrary is uh, true too. Um, when mm, you feel well, uh, it will take, uh, on the other hand, a lot, okay, to change the way you feel. Um, now, um, 
while some experience of some you know bump on the road that we may encounter um, can be in and out of our life in 24 hours so uh, there are other events that can keep us uh, in a negative vibe or in a lower vibes uh, for longer for instance when you are sick okay when you have I don't know um, when there is you know uh, when you lose someone okay so um, and uh, the fact that now we live especially in the Western world where everything has to be so rational and so you know inside you know uh, boxes and labeled the reality is that um, different tools were used by different cultures uh, to uh, address uh, this uh, issue of how we vibrate and how to put balance in our vibration. And this is a reality that we, you know, are lost. But um, for instance, let me see because I have some notes here. Okay. Uh, there are a lot of, you know, ceremonies. So uh, uh, anybody, you know, can attach the, the word that I prefer. Um, the Native Americans uh, use drums, uh, rattles, uh, this is a rattle, for instance, uh, burning earth, uh, and uh, so it's uh, the famous uh, uh, wayside bundle, do not to burn, around the people and the house también, as well. Um, doing a true um, clearing of energy in your home and in your person after for instance an argument or after somebody has been ill or when you move to a new home um, or before you bring a new baby home or when for instance you buy second hand item uh, or even when you are feeling sad uh, cleansing your space can really bring more balance um in your life and in the way in which you vibrate uh there are a few steps uh, that you know um are essential to you know prevent this this cleansing and uh of course this is also a practice that it's not one size fits all there are um people that feel more comfortable using some kind of tools that can be, you know, the, the sage or incense or palo santo or salt. This is something that, you know, as to the tool that you choose has to resonate with you. Okay. So if, for instance, you don't like the smell of a burning sage, Mm, that's doesn't mean so that you know you are out of the question to cleanse your space you have to use a tool that somehow speaks to you okay that makes sense to you and uh, um, so first of all there is uh, the preparation you just don't go and cleanse okay um, if you're cleansing a space uh, like a room or your home uh, it's uh, a good idea to declutter um, because uh, um, cleansing um, a room or a home that it's dirty and messy it's like uh, dressing up uh, to go to a wedding uh, or any other formal occasion without taking a bath uh, or comb your hair you know it's like mm, that so some spend some time um, planning your cleansing to gather first of all the tools that you have decided to use for your ceremony and uh, there is no one best method as I was saying you have to choose a tool that you feel more aligned uh, um, and you have to use of course your intuition or try a few before you feel comfortable with one or two after you have uh, cleaned 
and the cloth thread and gather thread. And the same goes if you want to cleanse yourself too. So take a bath, okay? Comb your hair, put on some um, uh, clean clothes. Um, so, and anyway, uh, take a bath uh, even if uh, you decide only to cleanse uh, uh, the space. And a good idea is to add in the bath uh, some herbs uh, or essential oil, okay? Uh, some people um, prefer to smudge themselves, but I think that any cleansing has to be done, you know, when you are clean, you know? Um, and this is a, a nice idea, you know, to put in your bath. You can prepare this uh, sachet. Uh, with an organza bag because so the, the herbs won't, uh, you know, uh, clog uh, the pipes. And uh, this is very easy to, to make. Uh, there are salt, uh, lavender and uh, essential oil, okay? Essential oil, you can research on this uh, like uh, um, each oil is supposed to help in one area or in another, but I love a lot, you know, uh, lavender, essential oil and uh, the flowers, the dried flowers. So you put this in the bathroom, take a bath and, um, and then you take this out and throw it away because there will be only the dry flowers, okay? Um, I make this if anyone is interested, they are very cheap and uh, so you don't even have, have to prepare them for yourself, okay? So, um, the preparation, it's not just to clean yourself, the preparation when you take a bath and you gather your tools is also the time in which you are mentally connected with the intention that you are setting for the cleansing. And uh, um, for instance, uh, you need more love in your life. So, you know, um, your thoughts should go and should be uh, focused on love and not on the opposite, okay? So, um, then uh, there is uh, the blessing altar. Uh, part of the preparation is uh, so this uh, collecting and planning and put all the things together that actually you have to, you know, uh, put somewhere. And uh, having an altar, an altar can be anything, can be a stool, uh, can be something that you have permanently in your home. Uh, can be something that you are just temporary, so you decide, you know, what, which piece of furniture, like even, you know, a small stool, you cover with a cloth, and, um, and you put, you know, some items that somehow um, um, are a symbolic representation of what you are going to do. For instance, uh, taking, you know, like the, the, the example of, of cleansing your space to get more uh, love, you can put uh, some roses. Um, so it has to be symbolic for you because symbols are, are um, what do you say, uh, very personal stuff, okay? So for me, maybe if i'm talking about you know romantic love i would prefer a, a rose uh, uh, not a, a red rose that to me that's more passion but you know a uh, rose <laughs> uh, rose um so you have to find your symbols okay and um for many the best practice is to start by assembling your altar next to the main entrance and this is uh, very common um, for many but um, I lived in Japan and uh, in Japan actually every single home has uh, what they call a tokonoma. Tokonoma it's uh, basically the family shrine okay it's really you know um, most of the times in the living room in which people keep, you know, memory of their ancestors, 
or like a picture or some flower or something that it's relevant to remember um, their home and uh, their ancestors. So to have a small place in your home in which you can, um, on a regular basis, you know, honor your intentions, honor, you know, your ancestors, it's not uh, that bad. Unfortunately, uh, for those that, you know, like me, come from the continent, we are too, um, you know, <sighs> confined, you know, about what is religion, and uh, you expect to have something, you know, like um, uh, holy, only if you go to a temple or to a church. But um, I believe that the first temple that we live in, we have to be true to yourself, is our body, our temple, and where we live. So I don't think that, you know, choosing a small um, part of your home, you know, to put a candle or a picture or some flowers is uh, erratic okay but of course there are you know different op opinion on this uh, topic okay <laughs> um so this preparation it's with the altar that of course can be a fixed one and uh, altar again um has to be something very very um, personal to you I know that some people around, so they put, so I don't know, um, rules, but the reality is there are no rules. <laughs> uh, everything that makes sense to you, that it's a rule, okay? Um, and then there is the invocation. Before you um, uh, prepare, you want to prepare your invocation, your personal prayer. Um, which you on your own words um, to ask what you are, want to ask, what you are looking for, and keep it simple and you know uh, true to your heart. If you are looking for peace, um, because maybe you know after an argument or after I don't know somebody left you want to call for peace and you might say something like my god or my the universe or whatever you uh, align with you know um, uh, a power over you my uh, the universe bring peace from the for all the member of this uh, household my this uh, home field we love and joy and uh, and then you proceed with your cleansing, choosing the tool that you want to use. And I will go through a few in a second. Now, it's also true that um, it's not that if you cleanse once you are okay for the rest of your day. Uh, preservation uh, of the good energy in any household is with few things, the cluttering, cleaning, healthy plants and also to place uh, over and over you know crystals because crystals um, are all different each crystal has a different vibration so you don't have to you know necessarily go for the fancy one like there are some crystals that are more expensive than others like uh, this is uh, a carnelian it's a lovely stone but of course, this stone, this is polished. Um, it's more expensive, let's say, the rose quartz, okay? But when it comes to crystals, it's not really the price that makes the difference. This crystal is as, as powerful as this one, even if this one costs 10 times more than this, okay? And this is a, a rose, a rose quartz crystal. So, a uh, rose quartz crystal is uh, the best crystal that you can have for, you know, self-love. When you are in love, uh, everything that it's love-related, it really brings, you know, um, 
good vibration to any intention about love that you can have okay and again we sell a few polish of this if you are interested let me know then another powerful one uh, which is uh, again not very expensive is uh, amethyst and this is a cluster okay so but there are also polished stone and uh, this is anyway a stone that it's worth keeping in uh, the house there are also you know we sell uh, some kind of you know uh, chips you know in a bag so if you need anything let us know then there are more specific uh, crystals for instance pyrite which is this that um, is um, you know very good for business and if you are money related uh, issues or if you want to enhance your issues then okay let's start cleansing you um, you don't know what to get you don't know what to which is your tool you don't know what to start oh, okay the first easy things for you to do is uh, cleanse your space we rock sea salt like this okay this is uh, salt has been used in many cultures cultures all around the world okay uh, from east to west uh, from south to north okay salt at one point was used was more um, uh, expensive than gold and was used as uh, you know money instead of money people could pay with salt in each culture you can find some kind of you know tradition uh, like even here in ireland you know you throw the salt over your you know uh, left shoulder salt is the best if you need you know to cleanse your space after you take a bath after you set the intention after you clean the clutter the space the room or whatever you just uh, open your jar and remember to keep the sea salt always, you know, hard tight because the salt is uh, very good absorbing energies. So you don't want to leave, you know, the jar open because then, okay, it's not like uh, clean. And you just take, you know, um, a little bit, you know, of salt and from your main entrance you go anti-clockwise and you put a pinch of salt in every corner including uh, inside the closet uh, uh, everywhere just a little bit you know you don't have to put you know a massive amount and while you do this you can recite your prayer or uh, your invocation salt then you can add a pinch every time you do you know a washing machine you can add a pinch when you take a bath if you don't take a bath and take a shower then you can have you know a jug a container with some hot water you put a little bit of salt and this is the last thing that you pour over yourself uh, um, after you have you know clean yourself um what else you can do ah you can take uh, and bring uh, into every single pocket a little bit of salt that's you know keep away you know the 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 the, the bad energy so salt even if you don't know where to start it's so easy it's not so expensive but must be rock salt sea salt you know because now even with salt there are a lot of things that are everything but salt okay and uh, this is the easiest things to do then uh, uh, for uh, and you can also make if i have one i'll show you um i think i have one here okay um you can make also with salt and other herb you know your small bottle you know um to keep in your bedroom or near the entrance and uh, you put different herbs um, along with the salt, depending on what you are trying to achieve, okay? 
for for instance after you know you enter in a space that you feel it's very negative or very bad argument as a could or um, you know there is a lot of conflict you know sometimes we cannot choose to live alone <laughs> then it's much better to use a darker uh, natural salt like this black himalayan salt okay it's more powerful there are also witchy salt you know the famous black salt which is not the natural black uh, like this one like the himalayan it's not even very easy to find but um this is uh, the witchy uh, black salt this is a mix of raisins salt of course charcoal and um, I make this, uh, you know, these small bottles, but it takes a lot of time because there are, you know, um, the composition of this salt, it's linked with the moon phases. So on each phase, you set the intention, you put some ingredients, uh, which is salt, uh, resins, uh, incense, uh, and uh, so on. And this is basically the best things to use, especially at the beginning of the year. It's very, very protective. And again, you don't need to be a scientist to do that. You can do that, you know, by yourself. Uh, another great um, uh, tool that you can use, like a, um, a stone, it's a black tourmaline, which is my favorite. This is a lock okay and uh, this but they there are also you know small uh, um, uh, polished uh, stones and we sell them they are quite cheap so if you need one for protection and you can keep them in your home or you know in your pocket using crystal because again crystal every crystal has its own vibration okay that's why uh, regarding uh, what your issue is, uh, there is a special crystal that you can use. And there are a lot of, you know, uh, Judith Hall has wrote, you know, uh, so many nice books about the healing power of uh, crystals. Selenite is uh, another powerful stone because uh, it's uh, linked with the power of the moon. This is a polished one. And um, it's a very feminine stone. So it's a very gentle, but very protective. Um, every home should have, you know, a small bar of uh, selenite uh, on the windowsill, okay? And we sell those, they're very small. Oh, what I make is the selenite aura and home cleaning spray. This is a mix of um, selenite powder um essential oil and um full moon rain okay and you just um, from time to time you know spray on yourself it's really uh protective then if you find it um there are cedar shavings uh, you know that you can burn on a charcoal uh, tablet and this is very, very, very protective. Then there are other things that you can use. There are, you know, a mirror, various kinds of resins. This is smell divine. And uh, you can put this on a charcoal uh, tablet, or what do you call it? And uh, smell divine. This is, uh, and uh, this is it. So, so um, this is frankincense, yes. It's uh, another thing that is uh, absolutely lovely. Okay, you can smell it by this is what you burn. Okay, and uh, lavender again, making you know your um, small bottle protected with lavender and maybe um, an amethyst chips or rose quartz or clear quartz. You know, this is uh, very protective. And uh, I believe that every time you prepare something like that, uh, even like uh, the bat uh, sachet, okay? Um, 
you put you know the more intention you put on something the more powerful it's gonna be it's like when you cook something we love you know if you cook something that you really like that you really enjoy that you know that your family is going to enjoy the dish will be divine divine but if you are going to cook something that you really don't like that doesn't it's not aligned with you the result most of the times won't be that good even if you put the effort okay then then there is the other easy things that you can find to cleanse your uh, space um and that is uh, incense uh there are different kind of incense uh, let me see if uh, i can find okay the most common is lavender okay we sell uh, this uh, incense they are handmade hand roller sticks in india we make our you know um wrapping so it's totally uh, 100 percent uh, biodegradable what, what do you say <laughs> okay lavender it's um, very good to burn at night uh, because uh, as the natural um, uh, quality of calming down okay so uh, and anyway it's something good to burn every time you feel overwhelmed um the lavender incense has been around for more than 2500 years and uh, it was uh, widely used in egypt uh, uh, during all the rituals and uh, it's very popular with the vegan uh, practitioner um, and it says that uh, lavender brings clarity and peace and that's why it's the one that it's usually born during yoga uh, session. And uh, so this is something that can be born even after you had a very, you know, powerful physical session. And so, and uh, it's also a nice um, a scent um, to keep your home pleasantly uh, scented. Uh, they can again be born while you are taking a bath uh, and um, lavender is also an insect repellent okay so for instance if you go on holiday okay and um, let's say you have you know um, there are some insects that the lavender oil um, not 100 percent pure you know can really heal your skin um then there is uh, patchouli again and uh, patchouli is what is it here it's a uh, more darker usually and smell divine okay and this is what is used patchouli for fertility spells and uh this one is also used for you know deeper meditation and um, it's a, a fragrance that anyway uh, makes you feel uh, protected and secure uh, then there is um, orange and cinnamon incense and cinnamon is used um link uh, you know like as a spice uh, is associated with sexual desire lust of passion and um it's an excellent choice uh, for use in desire and aphrodisiac spells and uh, raise uh, the um energy sexual energy a lot and uh, while orange uh, uh, helps to declutter your mind you know um, making you know possible to bring over more happy memories okay uh so this is uh, uh, why there are so many incense around <laughs> then there is uh, the midnight rose incense or red rose like this one uh, if I can find it, this is a very small one, but 
um, and a rose because like a beautiful bunch of roses uh, it's so beautiful that it's um, how do you say lift anyway naturally depression tension cancer your emotions eases uh, um, stress so and this is also what you know you want to burn especially after you have been sick you know if you are looking for health success and money and blessing uh, that it's the right incense to to use then uh, the sandalwood uh sandalwood it's uh, absolutely one of my favorites and uh, this is relaxes a lot you know the heart and the throat chakra so it's uh, how we express ourselves so um to keep uh, our you know Mm, clarity it's uh, and then there is palo santo palo santo can be in an incense form and this is very powerful and for some it's as powerful as the sage stick okay yeah and palo santo is something that doesn't burn forever so the best way to do it is you know to light a little bit on you know on a candle light uh, because uh, you know with a match it will take too long uh, you just light it take a little while okay and um, but you start immediately smelling you know and that one is this you just go around and this is something beautiful to do in the morning especially before you leave the house because uh, this one this flame we you know extinguish in few seconds but if you do this before you go for work when you come back home you will uh, still uh, smell the scents and it's something really beautiful to come back home from okay to i mean yeah so um again there are also, you know, remember to move your bed, even slightly, you know, even slightly uh, after you couldn't sleep for a few nights because, you know, the chi, the energy has to be changed, okay? So um, if you have been sick for a few days, so if you have been depressed for a few days, okay, make the bed, okay? with new bed sheets and just move a little bit, you know, your bed, just a little bit, okay? So, and uh, what else you can do? This is a things that really doesn't cost anything, okay? Um, then, um, every time you feel yourself, you know, like thinking for too long or something depressing, even, you know, clearing the energy by clapping your hand. Okay. This is, and you know, you can do this entering three times, entering on each room. This is something that doesn't cost anything, you know, the clapping. Then uh, the sound, okay? The energy are very sensitive to the sound too. So you can either sing or just uh, ring a bell. And you know, this sound will clear, you know, cleanse um, um, the energy around you. Uh, there are musical instruments. I show you the rattle as well. This is something that you can find easily. This is totally vegan. Don't buy something made uh, with. Um, uh, this is what uh, I think uh, like a small coconut, I don't know, uh, from South America. Don't buy leather because leather is a dead animal. And uh, al although I uh, understand that that was used on, um, you know, by years and years ago but um i don't believe that if we use uh, the skin or the bones of a dead animal uh, it makes um, the energy very clear because there is still um how do you say uh, energy of death okay so uh, I like the energy that comes from a rattle that like this. So this is not even expensive. It's uh, something like 14 euro. Okay. But 
don't buy the leather one i really think uh, and i don't i'm not saying this as a vegan i'm a vegan but i see like uh, um like keeping stuffed um animals in the house you know um it's just wrong you want something that has changed energy to go okay not to stay around and around and around because the only way that we have to cleanse is to cleanse the past to move into the future and this is it okay so um uh when it comes even to drums i know that a lot of people use the drums that you know the the, the surface is made of you know animal skin um i won't do that i don't think that dealing for something to live better you can use the energy of something that is dead okay and this is something that i truly believe so um and again these is our all small tricks and there are many 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 more because you know um uh you can color up on your angel uh, you can use flowers and flowers are like you know um uh for for instance daffodil daffodil are full of joy acceptance um there is a radiation of you know hope and trust so uh Mm, putting a nice bunch of flowers uh, in your garden or in in a vase uh, is something that might remind you the intention to keep um to want something in your life like more peace more love or whatever um lavender again brings calm so tulip uh, tulips are you know um, associated with sensual love so if you want you know um, a good night uh, bring the wine and bring the tulips okay um, there are the gongs of course but if you have a, a big space uh, good for you buy a gong a gong in it uh, I can do that uh mm, there are bolts gongs and singing bolts uh, singing bolts are made of crystals uh, and um you know but especially before after you know meditation grounding grounding something that everybody should do you know like go barefoot um in your garden if you can as much as you can because of putting your um feet on the ground really keeps you grounded this is uh, something that you know a lot of people don't do uh, if it's not the garden can be a beach you know but take off your shoes your socks and walk uh, barefoot if you can do that even walking barefoot in your home is something that uh, it will help you you know to um, ground um there are the herbs of course so we talked about herbs before when i show you you know the the the, uh, the butter sachet olive water solar water moon water star water uh, this is water that you collect uh, let's say like the moon water that i use for my selenite and aura spray when there is a, a full moon and uh, it's raining um you can have the same and use the power of the sun uh, and uh, so on. But you know, when you are charging your water, I always to be mm, done with the um, moon phases, um, even if you use the energy of the sun, okay? So when it's a new moon, remember new moon, it's the time when you set a new intention for what you want to achieve in the coming months uh, there is rainbow water of course flower infused water which is uh, something that i use in this selenite too you know it's a mix of water uh, crystal water yes a lot of people drink uh, crystal water so basically you put a crystal next to the bottle of water that you are uh, drinking 
um so we can go here you know forever there are the stones uh, and the sage salt the salt again salt is something that really you can never go wrong with salt so thank you for being with me i know that i promise a few three cards i can do that now for because you know i have something um unexpected coming up but i will join again at 3 p.m and uh, i will draw the cards for the people that have requested today and if you want to join me at uh, 3 p.m i will um, draw a card for everyone who wants it okay so thank you very much for being with me and uh, blessings bye